What's up guys, welcome to Zeus Fitness. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get a ding anytime we upload any new content. Now, we've been away for a while. I've been away and we've been filming our latest program, Zeus Lift. This is an all weights, no cardio program to be done at home or at the gym. And to celebrate that, we're gonna give you a little taster of that today. What we're gonna do is a 25 minute, no repeat, upper body dumbbell workout. All you're gonna need for this is some dumbbells. Ideally, you'd be working with heavy, moderate, and light dumbbells, but if you don't have those at home, you can just use whatever you've got lying around. And if you've got a bench, even better. But if not, you can just use the floor or use the edge of your sofa, whatever you got handy. But we're gonna be doing five exercises per muscle grip. They're gonna be 40 seconds each with 20 seconds transition time in between. And we're gonna pick apart each muscle group one at a time. So get your dumbbells, get ready, and let's do this. Right guys, first up, we're gonna tackle five exercises for the chest. I'm gonna be using a bench. If you don't have a bench, just use the floor. It's just as good. I'm gonna be using the heavy dumbbells for the first exercise, and it's gonna be dumbbell chest press. We're gonna go slow, controlled, and again, we're lifting a little bit heavier than we usually would. But once again, guys, if you don't have those heavies, just use what you got. You'll still get a good pump on from it. So we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. So I'm gonna take these heavy dumbbells, pop them up on the hips, lie flat in position. And we're going to press them up to meet in the middle. And let's go. We breathe out as we press up, breathe in on the way back down. Slow and controlled. Keep them down nice and deep. So if it was a bar, it'd be coming at your head. The upper line of your chest. Okay, up next, we're gonna be going into chest fly. So I'm gonna take the moderately heavy dumbbells for these. And what we do is we lie flat in the back again. Again, you got a bench, brilliant. If you don't, do it from the floor. Dumbbells meeting in the middle, and we lower them down to the side, nice and wide. Slight bend in the elbow, but that elbow stays the same bend throughout. Let's go. Breathe in on the way down. And breathe out as you bring it in to meet the middle. Nice and slow. Don't try and keep up with me, guys. If you guys are going a little faster, that's okay. If you don't want to rush these exercises, you want to give the muscle as much time under tension as you can. And stop. Okay, up next, I'm going to do some push ups. I'm going to use these dumbbells just to support the wrists a little here. You can go from the tiptoes, or if you can't manage a full push up, you can go from the knees. If you're going from the knees, bring the hips down with you. In three, two, one, and go. Again, slow and control, breathing in the way down, breathing out as you press. Up. Good job. Up next, gonna grab the lighter dumbbells and we're gonna do crossover, alternate crossover. So we just take the dumbbells like so, stand tall, squeeze the pack or keep the arm nice and straight, and just go diagonally across your body. Three, two, one, and go. Once again, breathing out on exertion, breathing in as we come back. Keep the core strong, abs drawn in. There's no arch in the lower back, and there's no swinging. Up 
up. Now we're going to do a reverse grip press. So I'm going to take the moderately heavy dumbbells that I flatten the back. Keep the elbows tucked in by the side with the nails facing our heads. And we press them up to meet in the middle. And we breathe in the way back down. And let's go. Next, we're going on to the back. So, we're going to start with a raise and pull. So, we tilt from the hips of the light dumbbells up into a front raise and into a lat squeeze. And let's go. Just keep the knees soft, keep the back nice and flat. Push the back side out so we're not arching the upper or lower back. on the way up and breathe out on the lat squeeze. So if you imagine you're trying to do a Y and then into a W, a nice wide W. Forearms are trying to stay aligned with the back, not pushing your shoulders forward. And stop. Okay, up next we're going to do a single arm row with rotation. And we can use the heavy one for these, okay? So, what we do, right knee down, right hand down. Start with the dumbbell this way. As we breathe out, we're just going to rotate it like so. And if you don't have a bench, you can just use the edge of your sofa or a chair for this one. And breathe out as you pull it towards you. Breathe in all the way back. Don't fully lock out the arm. And keep the back nice and flat. Shoulders aligned. Slight bend in the elbow. And just straighten out the arm. And stop. Now we're gonna swap it over onto the other side. So left knee down. Left hand down, dumbbell in right hand. As we pull it up towards us, we rotate the nails away from us. Again, keep the back nice and flat, core engaged. Three, two, one, and go. Up. up next, we're going to take one of the moderately heavy dumbbells and we're going to do a lot pullover. So, yeah, I'm going to be using the bench here. Then you can use the chair or you can do it from the floor if need be. My flatten her back in bridge position. Diamond grip of the dumbbell, we lower it back as we breathe in and breathe out as we pull it forward. Let's go. Okay, we just want to keep those elbows soft but we don't bend the elbows anymore. Otherwise, you turn it into a tricep exercise. A real nice stretch on the lats here. And 
rest up. And exercise number five for the back. We're going to take the heavy dumbbell. And we're going to do an upright pull. So I'm going to grab it like so. Stand tall. Core engaged. Pull it up to the chin. Keep the elbows nice and high. And let's go. Very right, nice to pull it towards you. Breathe in. Use the lower back down. Okay, up next we're going on to the shoulders. Bench this way. And we're going to start with a dumbbell shoulder press. And I suggest we go moderately heavy or heavy with these because the shoulders burn out very quick. Sit tall, dumbbells up here, press them up and meet above our head. Let's go. Fast, breathe in as we lower them back down. Up. Okay. Up next, we're gonna go side level raise. Again, if you don't have a bench, you can do this seated on a chair, or you can do seated with the legs out straight. Start with the dumbbells here. We raise them up and line the shoulders, or line the elbows, and away we go. Line the ears. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Keep them about six inches away from the hips. Breathe out as you raise them up. Okay, up next we're going to do some shrugs. So we can take the heavy ones for these. Stand tall, chest high. We're going to roll the shoulders up towards the ear and roll the shoulders back. Let's go. Next, we're going to do alternate front raises. Getting a little lighter for these. Stand tall, core engaged. You raise up one dumbbell, bring it back, up and line the eyes, and on the other side. Three, two, one, and go. Try not to swing on these. It's tempting to turn it into a kettlebell swing and get those hips involved. Keep that core strong.
up our maximum stomp. Same dumbbells, we're gonna get the nails pointing forward and we're gonna do a rainbow raise. So starting here, we're gonna breathe out as we bring them up. The mate, and line with the eyes, and then back down nice and slow. Go. Slow tempo, nice and controlled. Muscle spine, plenty of time under tension. And stop, okay. Up next, we're moving on to the biceps. So we're going to grab the moderately heavy dumbbells for these and we'll start with an alternate curl. So we'll stay starting for these. And what we're going to do, we curl the bicep up towards it. We don't bring it right up to the shoulder as I see a common mistake being done. We got to use the bicep to act as a roadblock. Let's go. So by flexing it, it's going to stop that dumbbell from getting anywhere near your shoulder. Once again, core strong. No swaying, nice slow and controlled technique. And stop, okay, up next we're gonna do some hammer curl with a twist. So we curl them up towards us, keeping the heads facing forward, twist them at the top and bring it back down nice and slow. Okay, you might need to go a little lighter for these, but I'm going to try it with these. And let's go. Once again, not going right up the shoulders. Biceps should block the way. Getting it right up the shoulders, there's a good chance you're actually bypassing the biceps to try and get that dumbbell to where you think it should be going. The shoulder, that's not what we're aiming for. And stop. Okay, I'm actually going to do a concentration curl. So again, using the moderately heavy dumbbell here, we're going to sit at the end of a chair, the edge of the bench, get the elbow on the inside of the knee, not pushed in towards your groin. And we're going to curl it up towards our head. Keep it down nice and straight to begin with. Curl it up towards, hold, and back nice and slow. Up. Now we're going to swap it on the other side, so the right arm gets a little breather here. Now the left one does the work. Elbow on the inside of the knee. On nice and straight, curl up towards your head. Let's go. Up. OK, 
Okay, nice base up exercise. I'm going to go light with these because these ones hit a little different. Okay, it's going to be a wide grip curl, so we get the elbows in tight, the nails facing away from us. And we're going to curl them up towards us just like so. Three, two, one, let's go. Stop. All right, finally, we're going to move on to the triceps. Okay, we're going to start by using the bench and doing a tricep dip. If you don't have a bench, use a chair. So, hands shoulder width apart, bring the legs out front, turn the shoulders back, and lower your butt towards the ground, and push up using your tricep. So, try not to push the hips up towards the ceiling on this turn, keep from the head down to the hips. Nice and parallel with your forearms. What your body will want to do is transfer the weight onto your feet and lift your hips into it, but we're trying to focus all that effort onto the tricep. Okay, up next we're going to do some skull crushers. Again, using the bench, but if you need to, you can use the floor. We're uh, going moderately heavy with these, lying flat in the back, arms out straight, no movement from the shoulder to the elbow. Going to brush past the ears, keeping those elbows nice and still, and straighten out the arm. Let's go. Just try not to let those elbows creep forward and try and swing those dumbbells up. Up next, we're going to do a close grip push up. So we're going down to the floor, keeping the hands shoulder width apart, up on the tippy toes, keeping the elbows tucked in by the ribs, lowering ourselves down towards the floor and pressing back up the triceps. And away we go. Now, if you're struggling with these, you can't drop to the knees and do them like so. But make sure your butt comes down with you. But if you can't, stay up on those tippy toes. Ultimate exercise here. We're going to take the light dumbbells and we're going to do some double arm tricep kickbacks, but with the reverse grip. We have the nails facing away from us, starting at the right angle, fully straight out behind, and back to the right angle. Let's go. Let's try and keep those shoulders pinned back so you're not pushing them forward. Try not to swing them up. All controlled movements with a little pause when you straighten out the arm. Don't let these come right up to your shoulders. We start at a right angle, no swinging. Stop. 
Ah, final exercise then. We're going to be taking a heavy dumbbell, just one, and take a diamond grip behind the head, roll it down, and press it up above the head. Three, two, one, and go. And stop it. Oh, right, guys, that wraps up our 25 minute no repeat upper body dumbbell workout. Don't forget, guys, if you like that workout, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll never miss any more of these workouts. If you really liked it, please check out our brand new program, Zeus Lift. Zeus Lift, we're going to be targeting one muscle grip a day. 30 minute workouts, six workouts a week. If you thought that was tough, it's much tougher, but trust me, it'll get you in the best shape of your life. 